Hello, friends. The Bears are who we thought they were. The Bears. The Bears. I am the great Cornholio. We'll see what happens. Uh, the playoffs? See, no. Oh, Sean McDonough and Jay Billis. Goose! Literally! Um, can you play a song? <laughs> I'm cool. Put my mic on! I'm calling both games! Oh, 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 baby. Oh, so no. Goes down the field for Smith! Oh! He caught it! Seattle. We're getting ready for Cincinnati. We're going to get to Hollywood Brown and... I don't really know how this is going to go for radio. I just want to kind of get like a little, like a fair warning because I, I, I don't know because I, I'm, I'm looking at film. So I, I don't know how this is going to go. And again, I can, you know, I understand that like, oh, Mike, there's football games on the radio. How do you think they describe that? I get that, but I, I'm, so for for those that are watching the video portion of it, you you're, don't don't ask me why are you describing what's happening. I'm watching it. It's because it is a simulcast. I'm doing both radio and video, so it's kind of just an, an odd medium. So that's why it may seem a little bit off. So I just want to kind of give that fair warning before we get into it. Before people get confused. Um, so some of the some of the I'll just kind of preview the segment here before we get into it. Uh, that way, when we come out of commercial break, we can get right into it because we got a lot to 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 look at. There was a game last year, the regular season game last year against the Titans. Hollywood Brown was shut out, no receptions at all, very catchable balls. Again, that's last year. He's improved since then. There have been, and then we're gonna look at another video with Hollywood Brown just clips over his career, kind of dissecting that a little bit. Um, I'll reshow the the Browns drops uh, the Browns. Sorry, I'll reshow Hollywood Browns drops against the Detroit Lions, and then I got highlights from the Colts game, which is going to be a big, a big portion of that segment. And as I I want to talk about, I, I want to kind of get this out of the way. The Colts game for Hollywood Brown was the first game in a long time that he would catch the ball and not curl up and go down right away. I I recognize that. The game against the Colts was the first time in a while that he consistently tried to get extra yardage there, you know, and, and took tackles. I, I just want to kind of get that out of the way. I recognize that. I'm not, I'm not um, ignoring that fact. But again, and again, as I said, Hollywood Brown's not awful. I don't think he's the worst receiver in the world. But people are coming out acting like he's, you know, one of the best wide receivers in the league, and it's just not the case. Um, I think you take Hollywood Brown out of the equation and put in pr pretty much any other wide receiver and you get those same numbers that he puts up. Uh, like I said, he, he's just another... He, Hollywood Brown, to me, is just another cog in the system. He's just another... Just another... Uh, I, I don't know what other phrase to, 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 to say, to how to put it, but he's just another, just another guy, you know? There's nothing special about Hollywood Brown. He's not an elite receiver, and he's not a team player. Hollywood Brown, as I said, is not really like a team player. He, I, I just, sure, he, he makes catches every now and then, but he just doesn't fight for extra yardage very often. He doesn't block downfield, and I understand that he's a 5'9 receiver. He's not, he's not DK Metcalf. I get that. He's not huge. But he doesn't show an effort to go block. He doesn't show like he doesn't show the drive to help the team. You know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't. He just doesn't. And we're gonna get it. We're gonna see this. So I, I if, if you're interested in what I have to say about this, and you kind of want to see a more visual detail, I would direct you to go to YouTube after this to kind of see what I'm talking about on a better level. It might give you like a you know it might help you out, help you understand what I'm saying a little bit more. So. After the show, sometime today, it'll be uploaded on YouTube. Uh, just look up Mike's Madness on YouTube. Uh, I got about like, just, I, I, it'll come right up. It should be like one of the first ones. So with that being said, here we go. We got some some film on Hollywood Brown's lack of impact week 11 last, last year against the Titans. He had no catches in that game. And there, there's a catch, there's a, there's a play here where he goes, 
He goes up the field, kind of across the ground. He cuts back on the field about midfield. The ball's right to him, and he drops it. And we know that this has been a problem for him in years past where he's dropped very catchable balls. He's dropped very catchable passes from Jackson, and you know people blame it on Jackson. That's just not right. These are catchable things for him, and I, I just it, it is very, very surprising when a guy struggles to make easy catches, and people are trying to tell me that he's an elite wide receiver. Um, you know, of course, and sure, there were a few plays in this Titans game where you know it was a tough catch like this one right here in the end zone. That that's tough, right? I, I'm not gonna expect every wide receiver to come down with that ball, but. Hollywood Brown, like in that Titans game last year, there were times when, like, he really should have caught some of these. And there's another one here. Uh, I think he had like th there's three big ones that he dropped. There's uh, the one across the middle at midfield where he really should have caught. It, it was right to him. And just a small thing here where he, uh, I want to reshow that one more time. He, he, so stop right there. He he goes up the field and he he cuts and pushes off the wrong foot. He pushes off his right foot and goes to his right, and he's on the right side. He's on the far side of the field, so he's going towards the. Uh, he's going towards the. Um, he's going towards the towards out of bounds. He's he's limiting the amount of room that he's giving himself when he could have much easily, much very easily, cut to his left and come up very uh, come across the field. He cuts to his right. He goes that way towards the towards uh, you know towards out of bounds. Doesn't give himself. You know enough room to make the catch, and he can't can't reel it in. And even this one, you know, it was kind of out of his reach a little bit. But again, not making that that bad cut. I think you see him maybe reel in some of those. So and this one, this this video that I'm, I'm I got up right now, this was really eye opening. So we're gonna cut to about three minutes 55 seconds into this clip and this is when we see some more easy drops from hollywood brown and right here it's right to him it just goes right through his hands and it, it was giving me flashbacks of and here's another saying another look at the titans one right across the middle at midfield it was very reminiscent of of brashad perriman remember brashad perriman was really hyped up and then he couldn't catch these were these were passes right to Hollywood Brown, and he drops them. And the, these are all from from last year, and I think there's a maybe a few from from the year before. But no, I think most of these were from last year. And I understand, I do understand, and and recognize the fact that he's made improvements over 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 the years with uh, with his catching. Right, he had an awful game with the Lions with catching. He got back, worked on it, came back against uh, the Broncos, and even in the uh, in the Colts game, he caught ones that maybe he drops in previous weeks. So he is improving on that. I'm not overlooking that. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just showing the patterns of 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 things that I've noticed over his career in Baltimore. And this was the big thing: the the drops he's getting better on. So I'm not going to harp on him too much for that because he's getting better on it. But here's the thing: last season from Hollywood Brown that really got on my nerves. This was the Bills game, and so he so he catches it. So as I said, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't. Uh, he ha he's had issues with with catching the ball. When he does catch the ball, he does this. He catches the ball, and he goes down before he does. He goes down like Tom Brady before he gets hit. He goes down, avoids the hit at all cost. And he just doesn't fight for extra yardage when he much when he very easily could have gotten five more yards out of the play. Right here, he gets the ball. He runs five yards to his to his left, getting about one yard after the play, and he falls down. Another one here. He he stands off to the side on a little screen play, gets the ball, and he just runs out of bounds. After a little bit, I mean, he kind of got pushed out of bounds there, but he didn't put up much of a fight. That wasn't that wasn't a huge one. Maybe that's me getting picky. Here against the Bengals, he gets the he gets the pass, he catches it, and what he does is he kind of goes up the field a little bit. But look right here, I'm gonna freeze it and again go on YouTube afterward and look at this. Look at all the field. Look at all the field ahead of him. So does he a run up the field and score a touchdown? B 
trip and fall, C, get tackled before he gets to the end zone, or D, run out of bounds. If you chose D, run out of bounds with 55 plus yards of grass ahead of him, you were correct. Look at this. He runs out of bounds. Are you kidding me? And and the thing is, is that the speed, his speed has been his calling card. Like, wow, that's what he's known for. And he gets the ball right here on, he's got it about his own 40 yard line. If he just uses his innate speed, he easily gets a touchdown here. He slows up and gets out of bounds before he can get touched. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? That drives me nuts. Because if you're in the NFL, you get the ball. Your main job is to try to get more yards or get a touchdown at all costs. And again, I understand Hollywood Brown is a 5'9 wide receiver. He's not huge, right? He's not DK Metcalf. I get it. But for him to not even like try on some of these is just, it just drives me nuts. Here we got one against the, the Jaguars. He gets the ball. And right here, he's on about the, I'll say the 17-yard line. He's, he's running over toward to his left uh, on the 17-yard line. He, if you, if you're, and if you're looking at this on video, no doubt in my mind, he should get a touchdown out of this. But let's watch what happens. He gets to the five. He gets to the 10. He gets to the five. All he's got to do is 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 turn on the jets a little bit. He just has to show a little bit more effort to get into the end zone. All, instead, he does some kind of like sad attempt at a juke move and runs out of bounds at the four yard line. And again, that was against the Jaguars. I understand that that was a blowout game, but like he doesn't, he only gets the easy yards. He only gets easy yards after the catch, I should say. He doesn't fight for the tough yards. He doesn't get the, 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 the nitty gritty, dirty catches, uh, the dirty yards. Here we go. Here's another one. He caught the ball at about the opponent's 48 yard line. There is, you know, again, if he uses his speed, as he's known for, he can easily get 10, 10, 15 more yards minimum. What does he do? He runs out of bounds before anybody can touch him five yards after the catch. Embarrassing. I, I, don't, I don't recall seeing elite wide receivers do that. I don't recall seeing Randy Moss do that. I don't recall seeing Jerry Rice do that. I don't recall... Terrell Owens, right? If we're, you know, I understand Terrell Owens, you know, had some stuff going on, but I don't recall T.O. doing that. I don't recall Heinz Ward doing that. To say that Hollywood Brown is an elite wide receiver is just bogus. He doesn't do the things that every Hall of Fame, Michael Irvin, right? He doesn't do, he doesn't do the things that every Hall of Fame elite wide receiver has done in their career. Hollywood Brown doesn't do that. And so, like, sure, we can talk about stats all day. Numbers are, in the grand scheme of things, right, numbers, sure, yards and, and touchdowns win games, but you can put any other wide receiver in his spot and you get comparable numbers. You know, you don't get a lot. There's not a lot from him that, 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 sta that makes him stand apart from every other wide receiver in the league. Um, and... Other than his speed, right? And even even though he's known for his speed, he doesn't even use that to get more yards sometimes. And again, that was those clips that I just shown. They were from last year. He's done a little bit better job at, at fighting for extra yards this year. I I will recognize that, but it's it's still still he still needs some work. And if he completely flips the script and he turns him, and he continues to build up, and I, I I recognize that he's bulked up a little bit. I think there's still tons more work to do. And sure, am I am I saying that he will never ever be a good like a, a elite wide receiver? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that the the patterns that he's shown over his career are very discouraging to me and I just I can't look at at his pattern and his career in Baltimore and say he's going to, you know, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. I just I just don't see it. And, but anything can happen. He can turn it around. I'm not saying he can't, but it's going to take a lot of work. Um, again, I understand he's young. These are his first few years. It, not every guy is going to come out looking like Jerry Rice. I get that. But for people to say that he is elite already is just blasphemous. It's ridiculous. You know, and again, 
looking there's a difference between watching the game and looking at this at the box score and say wow he had 150 yards yeah 150 easy yards he could have easily had a, taken that 150 yard game and probably gotten 200 250 right but he doesn't he doesn't do that and, and that's the one thing that drives me nuts especially in games where we're losing or where the ravens are losing um i know i said we because i'm a ravens fan i'm trying to get better on that to be more like you know n- not so like ravens fan take but he's been getting better at that but the one thing that drives me nuts about any team is that when a team is losing and a player does not fight for extra yards or really show like the drive to to lead the team back that just i don't know that that drives me up a wall and again here we go the, the drops in this year against the lions i understand i mean look that's right there that's right there and and this was a bad game for him i i get that one bad game but it's a pattern over his career and again sure he got better i don't know why it's all fuzzy uh that's nice um and sure he got better in the uh in the broncos game like he came back and had a great game against denver but uh, here we go it cleared up a little bit i was like what what's going on um he had a great game against denver he he had an okay game against the colts like he, he was decent right he caught some touchdown passes he got some yards like that was that was fine like that was you know decent but i don't look at that game and say wow hollywood brown is is elite that take is 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 a little much for me right now i'm not saying you can't be elite in years to come but it's again it's gonna take a lot of work um it, it, it's it's really gonna take a lot of work from from hollywood brown um the colts game there were a lot of and again the this what i'm about to show you is not so much like he didn't fight for extra yards or he dropped catches it was more it was more like small stuff and again to to kind of this is going to be seen as being nitpicking and 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 picky and whatever but the point is you look at other wide receivers they're doing things that hollywood brown is not and those are the players that people are saying hollywood brown is better than and again i'm not saying hollywood brown is awful i'm not saying that but what i am saying is that hollywood brown is not an elite wide receiver i don't look at hollywood brown and say oh without a doubt he's gonna be a hall of famer one day and i don't know like people hype him up a little bit too much for my for my taste right sure He's been getting better at catches. Sure, he he gets you know a good amount of yards a game when he when he catches the ball. Sure, he gets a few touchdowns every every game. And stats are great, right? But it's the it's the attitude aspect. When a guy complains in his rookie year about not getting touches, that's kind of a sign of things. Like something sums up there, at least in my view. When he gives up on plays like running out of bounds early, going down before he gets hit. Um, in, in this in this footage I'm about to show, he he doesn't really try to block too much. He just stands there when the play is happening right in front of him. It that just kind of, and I get it. He's a five nine guy. He's not big. He's he's a small guy, but he shows no effort. He shows no desire to get involved in the play that doesn't involve when it doesn't involve him. And I I don't know. It's just I could be making more of it than than what it what it really is, but. I've never seen a wide receiver or any player for that for that standpoint, unless it's a quarterback. I've never seen a player stand there like a statue and watch the play happen five feet in front of him. Really, really odd stuff. I've just never seen it. So we're gonna go up here to about 340 here in the Colts Ravens highlights. And here we go. So this play, you're gonna see Hollywood Brown really do a, a this is one of his few actually attempts at blocking here. And so right here, Hollywood Brown right here. So look, the play's right there. The guy, I think, was that zero Duvernay or Proche? I think it's Duvernay. Catches the ball. No more, what is it, three yards behind him. Two or three yards behind him. Maybe, you know, ten feet away from him or whatever, right? Watch what Hollywood Brown does. He pushes off the guy, right? Oh, sorry, it's Sammy Watkins that has the ball. Hollywood Brown turns around, pushes the guy off him like he's playing patty cake. And then he just eases up and kind of jogs to the play as Sammy Watkins gets tackled to the ground. Again, that's kind of a nitpicky thing. I understand that. But that's just a pattern that we're going to see here in this game. Here we go. This is a play. Brown's not blocking here. Watch this. Yeah, yeah, here we go. 
So here's the play. We're on, the, or sorry, the Ravens are on the nine yard line, second and eight. Jackson goes back to throw. He hands it off to Latavius Murray. Brown is, is set up to the near side. They hand it off to Murray. Brown is, is about is one of the the furthest guys up in the field, right? Blocking is going to be key for him, uh, for the Ravens to get in the end zone on this play. Hollywood Brown pushes the guy, pushes the defender, I should say, away from him, pushes him towards where Latavius Murray is running, and then he just stands like a statue as everybody else runs towards the play. Even the big 300-pound lineman run to the play, and Hollywood Brown just stands there and watches Latavius Murray get tackled to the ground. He stands there and does nothing. It it was, I I don't I I just really really shocking. Um, again, he could have. This was a play where Jackson end of the towards the end of the first half. Um, Jackson throws to Brown in the end in the end zone, and it, it was a low throw. I get that, but Hollywood Brown had plenty of time. Like he's running across the end zone towards towards the far side here. Hollywood Brown has plenty of time. Like right here, he's running. He sees the ball in the air. He really needs. If he's going to make this catch, he's got to track the ball better. He's got to come back to the ball and give a little bit more of an effort. And I think he. I think maybe he realizes it here, as he gets frustrated with himself. I think maybe that's one where you say, okay. I think he 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 realizes it there. I get that. So, again, that was kind of a, a nitpicky thing, but just one thing I've noticed. Uh, here we got. Brown not even attempting to block here. Hollywood Brown right here set up to the near side. Jackson's going to throw to... Is that Duvernay? Yes, yeah, so that's Duvernay. Here's Hollywood Brown right here next to the play. I'll, I'll replay that one more time so you can get a, 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 an eye on it. Jackson throws to Duvernay. Brown is right here next to 97. If Hollywood Brown blocks 97, and maybe not even blocks him, like I'm not saying he's got to block him like a tight end, but if he just kind of gives any sort of effort... Duvernay might be able to get in the end zone here. Instead, watch what happens. He just, he stands there. He doesn't even try. He literally lets 97 get right by him and get to Duvernay. And then Hollywood Brown stands there and watches Duvernay get tackled at the one yard line. Are you kidding me? Is that what elite wide receivers do? Why, again, watch everybody else run down the field to the play. The 300 pound offensive lineman, you know, 250, whatever weight they are. The, the big guys is my point. They are just absolutely you know, booking it to get down to the play, Hollywood Brown has already made up his mind and he's headed back to the next play. I just, you know, again, I'm not saying he has to he has to block like a tight end, but at least show an effort. At least try, you know? He And he just, he doesn't do that very often. And and this was one that was, that was very, this was the key takeaway from the Colts game, that he just didn't try to block very much. Here's a play right here. Andrews gets the ball. Look how close... Je uh, Brown is in in front of, of Hollywood Brown, or uh, yeah, Andrews is in in front of Brown. He's right there in front of him. Are you kidding me? And what does Hollywood Brown do? He stands there, doesn't do too much, and he and he he watches Andrews get tackled. Watch this. Are you kidding me? Andrews isn't even down yet, and Hollywood Brown turns back and is already getting ready for the next play. Look at him. He stands there like a statue. Ben Roethlisberger moves more than that. Look at that. Are you kidding me? That's what elite wide receivers do? You want to make the argument that that's what elite wide receivers do? That is unreal. That is absolutely insane. That is insanity. Again, this is all from the Colts game. How uh, Jackson tosses it off to Tyson Williams. This could be seen as a, a picky thing. But everybody gets to the play. Hollywood Brown slowly jogs over to, to make it seem like something's like he's trying or something. I don't know what... He was really, he was really trying to, to do there, but he just kind of gives up on the play. If the play doesn't involve him, he doesn't seem emotionally invested in it, and that is, it's just frustrating to see from a from a fan. So here we go, thirteen thirty. Are we here? So it should be next play here. They're gonna, they're going to, the catch right in front of. Look, I think that's Josh Oliver, and Hollywood Brown doesn't do anything. So here you go, catch. Look at this. Hollywood Brown sees the ball is going to Oliver here. He's got a guy that he can block. Watch what happens. He lets the guy run right by him and tackle Josh Oliver. No effort given whatsoever. Absolutely embarrassing. Absolutely, uh, I, just, I just can't believe it. That's the guy that people are saying is an elite wide receiver. 
he he maybe you know I don't know he catches the ball sometimes sure but I, I don't know I don't know again here on this next play you're gonna see Hollywood Brown stand there like a statue as the plays right in front of, well not right in front of him but so Jackson throws it to Devonte Freeman here and you're gonna see on the bottom of the screen Hollywood Brown stands there and watches Tyson Williams get tackled no effort whatsoever no effort no desire to get involved in the play um, and it's just it it's 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 eye opening to see this kind of stuff and like that like that's why I didn't understand when people said actually I'll just let the highlights play while I talk about this uh, that's why I didn't understand people saying that he's an elite wide receiver you know the catches that he makes I think any any wide receiver really can make those catches you know people got excited about him burning a a fifth string cornerback on on the Colts this past Monday. I, I didn't understand it. Like are like is that really what we're getting hyped about? Is that the standard for an elite wide receiver? And again, sure, Hollywood Brown, he does, of course, he makes catches now. He's he's getting he's getting better with that. He's making catches. He you know, he I want to switch back to big camera right here real quick. So of course he's making catches. He's getting better at that. You know he, he's getting better at, at fighting for yards. He's he's showed an improved. I want to say improved effort to do that, but that game against the Colts that was a theme that I watched all game was that he didn't block at all. Like he he showed no effort to try to block. And I mean and it's just again I understand he is a he's a small guy. He's five nine. He's not you know huge, and even though he's five nine, he's not. He's not stocky. He's not huge. He's small. But, like, show an effort, dude. You know, like, God. You know, for you to be considered wide receiver one on the Ravens and not do the things that almost every wide receiver at least attempts to do is is why I don't see that, – that's why I think Hollywood Brown needs more work to be considered an elite wide receiver.